Welcome back. It has been a hot minute since I've had time to shoot a video. And it is the uh, Friday before Christmas. So Christmas is in three days. We are closed the following week, but I'm going to take advantage of today. I have a couple hours here in the afternoon. Uh, we printed out a partial wrap for our Hoopster van, which has been white now for a couple months. You know how it is when a mechanic's car never runs right, a body man's car is always rusty. Well, a graphics shop never has time for their own stuff. So today I'm going to start, I'm probably going to get the back done. And then uh, after Christmas vacation here, we'll work on the sides. So here we go. A little sneak peek of what we're doing. Just enough. I didn't want to do a full wrap on this. Basically because we don't have time. And there's the rear. I think we're gonna go in and uh, see if we can prep the sides. So these are just hand cut. This looks like it is the driver's side. Save that one for now. I'm going to do the passenger side. Go get this taped up.
I'm gonna get back on the Hoopster van. It's been a couple weeks since I did a half of it and I have to use it tomorrow and I can't drive it with half the graphics on it. It is January 4th. Uh, we shut down for Christmas to New Year's and uh, we're, we're really behind. We have a lot of projects going on here in the shop. So as you can see, there's the Hoopster van. Oh, I'm wearing new camera gear here too. This uh, shoulder harness thing hopefully it gets better images as I'm working on the uh, vehicles versus the, the neck one I had kind of bounces around. So we'll see how this thing does. But here's what we got going on. Um, I don't remember the first part of the video, but we're wrapping this thing from black to white. We have two of these to do, these Tahoes, and uh, they're for VA. Uh, we just did this quad axle for Biscano's trucking, and I can't pull it out till I finish this coach bus that I'm working on. This, we're doing paint protection film on. So it was uh, sprayed by some rocks falling out of the back of a dump truck. So the front of this thing had to be completely redone. And I'm just working on getting the template cut for this so I can get the paint protection film on. So this will probably take me a couple days because I'm working on it here and there sporadically. And tomorrow I'm out on site doing some more squad roof numbers. So that's what's going on. You know, it's been, I haven't put a video out in a couple weeks. Just it's, I've been really busy. Obviously business has to come first, YouTube second. I really do enjoy doing these videos, but I have to make sure that the work gets out the door too. So I'm gonna transfer this camera over to the tripod and get going on side two of the Hoopster van. It should take me probably about an hour to get this finished up. And like I said, I can't take it tomorrow, half done. So let me get this on the tripod and let's get going. I hope the sound is okay. It's a little bit louder in here now that I got my waste oil furnace back up and working. It turned out to be an O-ring on the uh, oil solenoid that was, had a crack in it. So I got that back up and running. It's been almost a year since that thing was running. So the rate keeps going. So it's gonna be a little bit louder. Hopefully you can hear me. I'll find out when I edit this video if I need to make some changes. But uh, let's get going on getting this thing lined up. So here's a little tidbit. I'm completely self-taught on wrapping. I have not taken a single class. Um, I went to an open house one time and there was, you, had, you didn't have to, but you could sign up for little sessions. And I signed up for a wrap session just to see like how, how other people do what I do. And, um, the gentleman putting on the session for the wrapping, uh, extremely good at wrapping, knows what he's doing. Um, and there were a lot of people there that obviously knew nothing about wrapping. And uh, when the instructor was kind of going over things and you know, I would give him a couple little tips and I don't claim to know all this. I was there to learn different procedures, different tips and tricks that he uses that I don't use. And uh, he kind of he kind of asked me, uh, why, are, why are you here? Why are you taking this class? In a, in a nice way, he wasn't being a dick about it. And I just said, it's, I don't claim to know everything. I think I know a lot about wrapping, 
but I don't ever claim to know everything. So I was there to learn and that's that. So I've never taken an actual class in wrapping. There you have it. Had some trials and tribulations along the way. Camera's dying, heater on. That's just the way it's gonna be around here. I'm doing the best I can with the sound, with the audio, with the cameras. And I think I'm gonna replace that Hero 11 Mini with a regular Hero 11. Um, I tried shooting this video in 4K, but it is majorly consuming battery power. And that's probably why that Mini 11 heated up a lot. So I'm gonna go back to 1080 using YouTube to up process to 4K. So here's the, uh, here's the Hoopty Mobile. It'll be seen, it's loud, that's what we needed. Uh, pretty, pretty tasteful, not terrible. So, that's gonna be a wrap on this wrap, and I'm gonna try to get back into posting videos weekly, and we'll see how that goes. So thanks for sticking around. Have a good day, and until next time, please like, tag, share, subscribe. That really helps out the channel. Take care.